Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at 19th of October 2024's Difference Ratio by Clover. Clover's one of our sets here at Gas HQ somewhere. My name is Bill Murphy. Hello, welcome back. It's been a pleasure. How have you been? Oh, that's good. How are the kids? Um, oh, love to hear that. Um, so, uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person reading this. Um, you will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats for a very fast time, one hat is for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Or today, I believe it is five dinosaurs. Um, so, uh, that being said, you know what? Let's get into it. Um, so, the rules for today's puzzle are normal Sudoku rules apply, so digits can't repeat in each box, row, or column. Now, uh, white circles show the difference between two adjacent digits. For example, row 9 and row 8, uh, row 9, column 8, row 9, column 9 have a difference of 2. However, black circles show the ratio between uh, adjacent digits. Uh, for example, row 8, column 2 and row 9, column 2 are in a 1 to 2 ratio. That's it. That's all you need to know to solve the puzzle. Sound good? I love that. All right. That being said, let's get into it. So, uh, this cell right here, I noticed uh, five needs to have a difference of uh, four, so this can only be one or nine, but nine here would need to be have either a 4.5 or an 18 uh, for that to work. Now, neither of those work um, in Sudoku. I cannot wait for the day where the technology works for that, but uh, that means we can fill out the rest of that uh, cell like that. Now, five over here, means that these two cells have to be two and eight. The two here uh, tells us that this has to go like that, meaning that is a four. Um, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit using my crop key knowledge, but that's fine. Uh, this two ratio can't be one, two, two, four, or three, six. So this must be four and eight. Uh, eight there tells which way around this goes. That's four, that's eight. Uh, and the five here tells us that this has to be a three. That's pretty funky. Uh, this can't, this two cell thing uh, can't be one, two, two, four, four, eight, so it must be three and six, uh, which means three can't go on those cells, so that's a three. This is a seven, nine, points back over here, making that a one. Uh, this is a seven, nine pair. Now, let's have a look down here. Hmm. Uh, that's either a two or an eight. Five, can it either be a three or a seven? Oh, this is, this is a bit of a mess. This is a one or a four. Oh, but that's nice. The one over here tells us that uh, that's a four. Uh, that's a three. And I don't know if that's a two or an eight, but what's that? That's a good question. So can't be three, six, which is fine. It can't be four, eight, which means uh, it can't be two, four. So the only option is that has to be one and two. One that tells us which way around that goes. Um, this is, this can't be six, so that's a seven, nine pair. Uh, that's one, four, and eight. Oh, that's nice. Uh, means we know for sure that that's three, six. Uh, two, four, and eight in the column did tell us how that went. This is a seven or a nine. Only way that that can work is for this to be one away. That has to be an eight. Um, am I going fast? Sorry, I don't mind me if I'm going fast. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, four down there means that that has to be a six. Uh, three, three, wait. I forgot what three plus four was. I love that for me. Uh, this can't be six, so that's six. Oh, that can be so many things. Uh, three, six. Oh, one, two here means that this has to be one and two. I love that. The, if this was one, this would have to be two, which breaks for multitude of reasons. So that's two, that's four, that's one. Two, one away from two is one or three, but we have a three in the column, one there. Uh, eight over here, points down here, eight, nine, a nice, seven, nine, nine, seven, nine. Love that. All right. Uh, two and four there means that that must be a five. Now, a three cell 
uh, run with five in the middle, needs a four, six pair at either end. We have a four here, which tells us which way around that goes. Um, this is three and six. Hey, love that. All right, uh, and five there. This needs, once again, a four and a six. The four here tells us it's up to be six and four. Uh, one and four, two and four. Um, I, I love Crocky. Can you tell? Um, three, five, and eight go there. Take the eight out of there. Uh, one, two, and seven left to place. One and two have to be in a ratio like that. Uh, seven, one away is four, six, and nine. Uh, with four, six, and nine to place in that column. Sorry. I think I might have had too much caffeine today. My brain is going at a million miles an hour. Alright, uh, this is 4 and 9. Uh, 9 over here, 0.94. Uh, 2, 5, and 7 over here. Can clean up the 7. Hey, where does 9 go in column 4? Um, 9 has to go in one of those two cells. And once 9 goes in one of those two cells, the only thing that's one away from 9 in a Sudoku is 8, which means we could unwind as, uh, most of this. That's two, take that away. Uh, one, two, five, seven. No, that's not right. Oh, but it's a three, it's a gap of three, that's right. So one, two, five, seven left to place in row six. Um, and the only way that you can get a, oh, I'm just double checking my math right now. Uh, only way you can get a gap of three is like that. So that's two, five, seven, five, one, two, now we are just finishing off. Um, hope you had a lovely weekend. I sure did. Uh, nine, eight, nine, seven, nine. This is one, two, and eight to place. Eight there. No, oi, back up. One, eight, and seven. So that's a one. That could still be an eight. Um, one, three, and seven. That's a three, one, seven. Hey, it was an eight. Love that. Uh, eight, two, and nine. Whew, that has been the Difference Ratio by Clover. My name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.